Hello everyone. I am here with something personal today. Well, what happened last night? I was playing in Chess 24's Premium Arena tournament, and uh, I got a chance to play against the world-class player, the former World Chess Championship challenger, one of the youngest uh, grandmasters in the history of chess, Sergey Karyakin. Yes, guys, I was uh, completely thrilled, and uh, I was so much excited to play against him. And uh, the game was also very interesting. So in this video. I'll be first uh, showing you the clip which I was live streaming yesterday, okay? And you can see what happened in the game, how I was uh, commenting about the game and everything. And after that uh, footage, we will uh, analyze the game in depth. And uh, I just want to tell you that I had two, three chances in the game where I could have, maybe you can say, like got a better position against Sergey Karyakin. And uh, if a strong player like uh, some uh, Magnus Carlsen was there, he would have surely found out those moves and. Uh, I would have won the game, maybe, maybe. So I missed out on those opportunities and then uh, Karakin, of course, he won the game uh, in the end. I was in time pressure. The game is just three, three minutes game. So do watch the footage first and then come to the analysis, which I will be doing. So stay tuned with me till the end because I will be showing some interesting ideas and uh, some variations in this game. So let's watch the footage first. Oh my God, I'm playing against Sergey Karyakin, man. I'm playing against Sergey Karyakin. This is a great thing. I'm playing against the world class player, guys. This is going to be epic. Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> oh my God. Look at his rating. His rating is 2900. Uh, okay, let's focus. Let's focus now. What's going to happen? Okay. This is a great chance. Okay, he's captured here. Okay, isolated queen pawn position is there. Now maybe just bring the bishop to g5 square. This is golden chance maybe. I don't know. I am kind of excited right now. So let's bring the knight in the center of the board. D7 might be played. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing against Sergey Garyakin. This is the first time in my life I'm playing against such a strong player. Okay, let's focus guys. Okay, let's focus. Mm hmm. I don't know how I got the chance to play against him. <laughs> oh, this is uh, epic. Okay, my bishop was hanging. I need to do something. Okay, I just need to support it maybe. Yeah. He might be putting some pressure over here on my pawn on g2. Okay. What can I do here? Knight d7, knight b5, this is coming. Okay, let's capture knight d7. Right now there is no attack for sure. Yes, then I can play queen h5. At least I am threatening checkmate to Sergey Karyakin. <laughs> That's all, that itself is a big achievement, I think so. Threatening a checkmate against uh, Karyakin. Okay, I have certain threats. I hope that uh, I will be able to get some good ideas in this position. Some tricks are there. Definitely. Huh. <sighs> Oh, he went back. I did not expect him to go back. He went back. Can I bring my knight? Let's bring the knight over here. Maybe I can capture if he captures. If he doesn't capture, then I really don't know. Means I'm just hoping that I should get. Okay, let's capture. Capture. Rook c8. Okay, I cannot capture it anywhere. I should just go back. I can't afford to capture anything. Okay, I can give a check, but he will be coming bishop f8 for sure. But I need to at least try over here. Bishop f8 is coming, yeah. That's what I was also thinking. My structural weaknesses are there. Okay, let's play this. Ah. Uh, Okay, 
display bishop f6 bishop a2 oh my goodness i should have stopped that thing somehow okay i lost the pawn he's the minister of defense i should have understood this thing okay look he's giving me a check i can't do anything about it let's play this move maybe okay cannot capture ah fine he's exchanging he's exchanging c7 so many exchanges happened already it's going to give me a check to come back he is surely having a clear passed pawn over here let's try something here we should be to beat him up yeah i should have stopped this thing maybe give a check h5 Okay, let's play this. Oh my goodness, he's not. What can I do? What can I do? Let's capture here. Capture here. Ah, check. I missed this check. Okay, just try to run away. Ah, shit! <laughs> but it was too much, too too much. <laughs> too much, too much. Amazing, but okay, we got the chance. We played. We gave a very good fight to uh, Sergey Karyakin. This is the first time I was playing against him. So, oh my God, I still can't believe this thing that I played against Sergey Karyakin. Well guys, I hope that you have watched the video now, until now, and now it's time to analyze the game in depth. And before we go further, I would like to say this thing that don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, that's all. <laughs> so the game starts with d4, as you already know that I am white in this position, Sergei Karakin was black, he plays knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, and then bishop to b4 nimzo indian opening has been played i went for the e3 this is my favorite line i like to play solid chess so e3 is a very solid move castles then i got my bishop to the d3 square i always believe in uh, developing the pieces as quickly as possible in the game so i place bishop d3 d5 has been played and now knight f3 well here c5 uh, normal position only he is playing in the center of the board i castled in this position and i was actually uh, expecting from his side that he might go for knight c6 or maybe knight d7 and i had some experience playing against uh, both the lines against strong players like ims and gms in real tournament i have played but to my surprise he played e captures d4 which i was not actually expecting e captures d4 the point of uh, capturing on d4 is like black will be going for the isolated queen pawn after uh, capturing here and uh, the d4 pawn is now isolated and he will try to get some advantage uh, against it but okay i knew that i need to develop my pieces quickly and i need to grab the center so i went for bishop g5 pinning the knight on f6 square bishop b7 well this bishop is uh, putting some pressure on this diagonal so i thought like why not develop my knight or put my knight in the center of the board where it will be uh, doing the octopus job many uh, squares will be there for our knight okay very good strategy we should always remember knight d7 and uh, maybe knight into e5 d into e5 and the queens will be action so i thought like i don't want to action the queens i'll keep the queens i played queen to e2 then rook c8 my bishop is under attack i played bishop d3 again uh pointing towards the h7 square queen c7 he played in this position well uh, uh i i don't know whether it is the correct move or not i thought like just uh, bring the rook in the same line of that queen so i played rook c1 another idea was also of course there that knight b5 was, uh, was an interesting option and uh, he needs to support the pawn on a7 if he plays queen d8 then the pawn will be lost okay i'll be getting the pawn and if he goes back in the position with queen b8 then maybe i can just uh, kick this bishop away and uh, 
he cannot really play bishop e7 because uh, knight into d7 is a very good idea from my side and if he captures then the bishop will be lost so he needs to play bishop d6 here and uh, well uh, i think like i'll definitely get knight into d6 queen into d6 maybe and uh, i'll be having two bishops against the queen uh, sorry uh, against opponents uh, minor pieces two bishops are always strong okay that was a possibility but i played very simple chess rook c1 queen to d6 was played i played knight into d7 okay i thought like let's get rid of the knight okay then knight captures d7 and now i got my queen to h5 square of course i am threatening something here on this side of the board and queen s7 is threatened so g6 was played attacking the queen i went back to h4 square now he played queen b8 move i was kind of surprised in this position what to do and uh, think about this position okay uh, the move which i played in the game was knight e4 which is not the best move in the position but i had a great chance to actually win the game after g6 you can already see that the dark squares are weakened in this side of the board and uh, i must be getting something the point is like i need to get bishop f6 queen h6 and there will be a mate okay so here the knight is the main defender of f6 square correct so i should have played bishop b5 the point is like the knight is not having any squares this all the squares from the knight are completely gone and uh, if you try to play bishop c6 this is i can simply capture capture and then i have a very good move that is d5 the point is i am attacking on rook on uh, c6 as well as the bishop on b4 and we, i'll be winning the piece for sure or maybe the exchange with rook into c3 and uh, b into c3 the bishop will uh, needs to go back but de definitely this is a great position for me which i should be uh, winning okay another thing is like if he plays rook c7 then i have a very simple move bishop b4 and i'll be getting the exchange for sure so i'll be exchange up and uh, if he tries to play some uh, other moves like bishop into c6 then i have bishop into d7 the rook is under attack and if he plays bishop into b2 in this situation i can capture on c8 rook captures on c8 and then uh, i can simply attack the queen the point is i want to play bishop to e5 queen of six and there will be mating threats in this position so again i will be getting a great position and if he plays here the queen will be lost so that was my chance to uh, get some exchange at least by playing bishop to b5 which i missed i played knight e4 and then he played rook into c1 rook into c1 rook c8 i played rook f1 i thought like i need to put my rook on the board rook f1 was played bishop to d5 and then knight of six check here also uh, another last chance you can say was to play bishop f4 attacking the queen over here and uh, if the queen goes here of course i have a very good move which uh, i did not even see in the game that was bishop d6 the point is like bishop is not having any good squares and if, if this is captured then again i will be winning the exchange in this position because uh, i will be capturing one of the pieces here in this situation okay and uh, at any point after this if he captures bishop into e4 i can capture here and the queen is under attack plus the bishop on b4 will be lost in this case so that was also one of the options which i had if queen a8 is played uh, then i can play bishop e5 and if he captures here then uh, of course like i have knight of six check if king comes here then i will capture here and the pawn on h7 is uh, pretty weak i think uh, i should be getting some uh, uh, good chances in this situation for uh, sure okay so that that's uh, it i had the chance of bishop f4 to get some advantage but i missed that thing i played knight of six and uh, okay then the bishop came back to f8 square queen at six is not allowed and i tried to maneuver the things bishop e5 finally i attacked the queen but it was too late i kept the pieces and now he got the pawn on f a2 square and we kept on playing for a while and then this thing happened okay here in this position i played queen f4 attacking his rook and in time pressure he missed this thing and he captured on uh, f6 i captured here and he got this pawn okay here the last chance maybe was to play bishop c4 and okay already this is not so easy uh, playing against this but i had some chances which uh, maybe i could have drawn the game but okay i did not go for that thing and then he won the game very uh, uh, quickly i must say and uh, i resigned uh, not resigned i kept on playing and then finally i got checkmated when i had just nine seconds on the clock so this was my game against sergey karya king maybe I'll get a chance to play against him in a real match someday and I will definitely try to win or maybe try to get some great position against him and you never know what will happen. But I'm pretty confident that if I can play this kind of a game against such a strong player, then uh, of course I can play much better against other players also and uh, strong players also make mistakes. Never forget about this thing. So just keep grinding and keep up the 
good spirit in you okay thank you for watching this video see you then goodbye take care